Remember all those sci-fi movies that promised us we'd be zipping around in flying cars by now? We all imagined a future where we could just skip the morning traffic by while flying right over it. It always seemed like a distant dream, but that future is no longer a fantasy. Today, we're counting down 10 of the most unique flying vehicles that actually exist. Kicking off our list is a machine that looks like it flew straight out of a superhero movie, the Lazareth LMV 496. At first glance, it's a me-looking electric motorcycle built from a composite of carbon fiber and Kevlar. On the road, it's a sleek quad bike, but this beast is hiding an incredible secret. With a flip of a switch, a stunning transformation begins. The four wheels push outward and tilt horizontally. Hidden inside each wheel hub is a powerful Jetcat jet turbine, and as they spool up, they generate an incredible amount of thrust. Some reports claim the turbines produce a combined 1,300 horsepower, enough to lift the entire vehicle and its rider straight off the ground. Suddenly, it's not a motorcycle anymore, it's a hovercraft. For about 10 minutes, the LMV-496 can hover and fly, controlled by joysticks on the handlebars. This masterpiece is the brainchild of French builder Ludovic Lazareth. With only five units planned at a price tag of over half a million dollars, the LMV-496 is definitive proof that the line between road vehicle and aircraft is blurring in the most spectacular way possible. Next up is something that completely redefines personal flight, Gravity Industries Jet Suit. Forget getting into a vehicle, with this, you become the vehicle. This wild invention straps five miniature jet engines to your body, two on each arm and one on your back, unleashing over 1,000 horsepower. The idea is brilliantly simple but physically intense. The pilot steers and controls altitude just by moving their arms to direct the thrust. It's the closest anyone has ever come to being a real-life Iron Man. Founded by British inventor Richard Browning, Gravity Industries has made this sci-fi dream a reality. Pilots have hit speeds of up to 136 km per hour, about 85 miles per hour, and can climb to an altitude of 12,000 feet. The 8-minute flight time is more than enough for some breathtaking demonstrations. And it's not just for show. The suit is being tested for practical uses, like paramedic services in remote mountain regions and for military applications. It's even sparked the world's first jet suit race, proving this isn't just a novelty, but the birth of an insane new high adrenaline sport. At number 8, we have a vehicle that wants to make personal flight a reality for almost anyone, the Jetson 1. This Swedish-designed single-seater is a marvel of simple, user-friendly engineering. It's an all-electric EVTOL that's electric vertical takeoff and landing, built from an aluminum space frame and a carbon Kevlar body. It weighs only 86 kilograms, 190 pounds, and is powered by eight electric motors. What really makes the Jetson 1 stand out is its focus on ease of use and safety. The company's mission is to make the skies available for everyone, and they're serious about it. In the US, you don't even need a pilot's license to fly it, since it's classified as an ultralight aircraft. The controls are just a simple joystick, and the flight computer handles the hard stuff to keep you stable. It can fly for about 20 minutes on a charge with a top speed of 102 km per hour, 63 miles per hour. Safety is a top priority, with redundant motors, an autoland function, and a ballistic parachute for emergencies. The first production runs for 2025 and 2026 sold out almost instantly, and with the company now taking orders for 2027, the Jetson 1 is on the verge of putting personal flying machines into the hands of the public. If the gravity jet suit sounds a little too extreme, our next entry might be more your speed. The Copter Pack is exactly what it sounds like, a personal helicopter you can wear like a backpack. The design is brilliant in its simplicity. A lightweight carbon fiber frame holds two large, counter-rotating rotors. They're powered by an electric motor, making it way quieter and more stable than its jet-powered cousins. The pilot uses two joysticks to fly, and the the whole system is self-leveling, which means it's designed to be stable and easy to handle. The large rotor blades are built for efficiency, allowing for a smooth and controlled flight. While the copter pack is still in a more experimental phase, with test flights showcasing its potential, it offers a totally different vision for personal aviation. Instead of raw power and blistering speed, the copter pack focuses on stability, safety, and electric efficiency. It's a quieter, more peaceful approach to taking to the skies. For years, the flying car has felt like a technology that was always just over the horizon. With the Terrafugia transition, that future officially landed. This isn't just an aircraft that looks like a car, it's a fully integrated, road-drivable airplane. You can drive it on the highway, park it in a normal garage, and then, with the push of a button, unfold its wings and get ready for takeoff in under a minute. In 2021, the transition hit a huge milestone when it received a special Lightsport Aircraft Airworthiness Certificate from the FAA, officially making it legal to fly in the United States. 
States. It was designed to hit highway speeds on the road and cruise at around 115 miles per hour in the air, with a range of over 450 miles. However, the dream didn't last. The company, now owned by Geely, laid off most of its U.S. staff in 2021 and shifted its operations to China, meaning the transition is not commercially available. Still, the vehicle remains a landmark achievement. It proved that a true, street-legal flying car was not only possible but certifiable, paving the way for the future. Imagine smashing together the nimbleness of a motorcycle with the power of a quadcopter. That's exactly what you get with the hover bike from Molloy Aeronautics. This rugged, no-nonsense flying machine was built to be an aerial workhorse, capable of flying with a pilot or completely on its own. It uses four overlapping rotors tucked inside protective guards, a smart design choice that makes it safer and more compact. Originally dreamed up as a personal vehicle, the hover bike's potential quickly got noticed by military and logistics experts. The U.S. Army saw it as a perfect tool for tactical reconnaissance and resupply missions in places where other vehicles can't go. It can carry a payload of up to 130 kilograms, about 290 pounds, and is designed for tough environments. While its main focus has shifted to being an unmanned cargo drone for military use, the core technology is a powerful and versatile platform for vertical flight. The company was even acquired by defense defense giant BAE systems in early 2024, showing just how important this tech is for the future of aviation. As we look toward a future of smarter, cleaner cities, our next vehicle is designed to be a huge part of that vision. Meet the Volocopter Volo City, a German-engineered electric air taxi. This isn't a personal toy, it's a meticulously designed vehicle for urban air mobility. The Volo City has a unique design with 18 electric rotors set on a large overhead ring, which provides incredible stability and redundancy. It's engineered to be exceptionally quiet and safe, making it perfect for flying over busy cities. The two-seat cabin is built for a pilot and one passenger though the ultimate goal is fully autonomous flight. Volocopter has been a trailblazer in this space, performing test flights in major cities like Singapore, Paris, and Dubai. The Volo City is designed for quick city trips, with a range of about 35 kilometers, 22 miles, and a top speed of 110 kilometers per hour, around 68 miles per hour. The company hit some financial and regulatory snags, causing it to miss a planned launch at the 2024 Paris Olympics. However, after securing new ownership and support in 2025, it is pushing forward with certification, now with a target of 2025. The Volo City represents the next generation of public transit, a quiet, emission-free air taxi service that could change how we move through our cities. Ever wanted to fly an aircraft without spending years and a small fortune on a pilot's license? Lyft Aircraft has made the dream a reality with Hexa. This is a single-passenger, semi-autonomous EDTOL designed purely for the thrill of flight. Because it's classified as an ultra-light in the US, you don't need a license to fly it. The Hexa is an awesome piece of engineering engineering, with 18 independent electric motors and propellers, so it can fly safely even if a few motors give out. Flying is as simple as using a single joystick, incredibly easy to learn. For extra safety, it's equipped with a ballistic parachute. And one of its coolest features? It's amphibious, so it can land on both land and water. Lyft Aircraft isn't just selling a machine, they're selling an experience. The company has launched public flight operations, allowing customers to fly the Hexa themselves. It recently made a major splash with demonstrations at the World Expo 2025 in Osaka, Japan, where it's preparing to launch commercial operations. Hexa is truly democratizing flight, offering a safe and thrilling way for anyone to pilot their own aircraft. Our runner-up is one of the most raw and wild personal flying devices ever built, the Flyboard Air. Invented by French jet ski champion Frankie Zapata, it's basically a jet-powered hoverboard. But don't let that simple description fool you. This machine is an absolute monster, powered by five turbo engines that let it fly with mind-blowing speed and agility. Zapata famously pushed the Flyboard Air to its limits when he crossed the English Channel on it in 2019. The Flyboard Air can hit incredible speeds and altitudes, with some reports saying it can climb thousands of feet. Control is all about the rider's body movements, demanding serious skill and balance. It's a true testament to human guts and ingenuity. More recently, Zapata has been developing a new craft called the Air Scooter, which is easier to fly. However, during a cross-channel attempt in July 2025, the Air Scooter had a technical issue and had to land in the water. Despite this setback, the original Flyboard Air remains an iconic achievement, a machine that captures the purest, most unfiltered form of human flight. Finally, at number one, we have a vehicle that represents where this 
this entire industry is headed, the Archer Midnight. This sleek, sophisticated EVTOL is designed to be the future of travel between cities. It's a piloted four-passenger air taxi built to handle back-to-back -back trips of 20 to 50 miles, turning an hour-long car ride into a 10-minute flight. The Midnight uses a unique hybrid system with 12 propellers. Six of them tilt, letting it take off vertically like a helicopter and then fly forward like a plane, while the other six give it extra lift. This design is built for speed, safety, and, most importantly, low noise. Archer isn't just building an aircraft, it's building an entire transportation network. The company is on a clear path to going commercial, having recently received its final airworthiness criteria from the FAA, a huge regulatory step, with plans to launch air taxi services with partners like United Airlines and a target for full FAA-type certification by late 2025. Archer is closer than ever to making urban air mobility a daily reality. The Archer Midnight is more than just a flying vehicle, it's the blueprint for the future of transportation. Now for the big question, if you could fly any one of these, which would it be? Drop your pick in the comments below. If you had a blast exploring the future of aviation with us, do us a favor and hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss what's next.